Hi, my name is Gabrielle Seip, and I am actually a comprehensive science and physics teacher at the York County School of Technology, and I'm going to share with you a little bit about how I use my Moodle. Um, as you can see, I'm part of several sites, but I want to start out with um, my comprehensive science site, which is the course that I teach for a majority of the year. When I click on it as a teacher, I actually see everything here, including the kind of grayed out assignments such as um, upload chemistry presentation. Uh, those are the things that my students might not see, but that I can actually see. I'd like to talk with you a little bit about how uh, the science department actually shares some resources. There are a couple of ways in which that we could share resources, and we found that the easiest is actually that our um, tech department has actually added us as teachers to each other's Moodles, and that gives us um, access to all of the assignments and information that every science teacher has added to their course. If you take a look over here to the left hand side, you'll actually see a backup, restore, and import buttons. We could technically back up our whole course and then import it into a different course if we wanted to maybe help out a new teacher with their Moodle by giving them maybe everything that we have listed here. Instead of doing that, we've actually been added as teachers to each other's because then we don't have to, you know, use their whole course, but we can just share some of the things. And we can easily do that by just going to import, and actually, I'll click on that and show you. I can import from any of the courses that I'm a teacher in, and actually you'll see an English course is the first one on my list here. I'll talk a little bit about why I'm on an English course as a science teacher. But if I scroll down, we'll take a look here at Mr. Johnson's comprehensive science course. He's actually got quite a few resources that he has lent me some information from, I guess. Um, We'll just give the computer here a minute to go ahead and load, um, use this course. We're going to import some course data. It's quite a large course. It's taking a couple seconds here. Um, and just say I wanted to upload, oh, I don't know, metrics vocabulary upload, sig figs upload, scientific notation worksheet upload. Um, I would just click on just those things, not everything here. Okay, and then I could scroll down. As you can see, he has quite a nice course here. And I would just hit continue. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to import all those things. But that is actually one of the easiest ways that we can import from each other's courses uh, and get information. We do a pretty decent job here in the science department of sharing all that information. If we get back to my comprehensive science site, I'll show you some of the things that as a new teacher two years ago, uh, I actually imported. This Ecology Web Quest here, for instance, is something that every freshman science class is responsible for teaching the curri curriculum for, as it's very heavily tested um, with our students. And this is just something that they had made up task one through six, including an introductory task. And I got to easily import right from them. Didn't have to reinvent the wheel with something. Saves a lot of people time because, you know, once you make maybe a metrics worksheet, it works for several different teachers. Why waste the time when you have other things as a teacher to take care of when you could just share your resources? Now, I said I'd talk a little bit about why I've been added to an English course as a science teacher because I certainly don't know uh, too much about English. If I click on Ms. Pavlik's English 10 course here, you actually see it's pretty much a blank slate. Now, I've been added as a teacher to her Moodle course because she wanted to start a Moodle this year, and she wasn't quite sure how to go about and do so. Uh, she is still working on some activities for this course that we're going to be importing here, or uploading and actually adding to her Moodle. I'm just working with her right now to maybe think of some good ideas of what we could add to her Moodle, and then I'm going to actually help her. Um, she's going to try and upload some, and I'm just going to try and upload some for her to save her some time until she kind of gets the hang of it. We've been working together. But that just gives me the power to go ahead and then click the turn editing on. If we wait here a minute, maybe add an activity, um, add a chat, or add a resource, compose a um, text page, or link to a file or website. just gives me the ability to help her out a little bit. Now, just thought I would share with you a couple of the ways in which the science department likes to share things within the Moodle. If you go down through, you'll actually see um, the chemistry department and the biology department. That's another way in which two of our departments share things. I'm not technically part of the chemistry or biology department, but those teachers, we all like to share information because in our freshman science course, I actually can go ahead and share those resources, even if it's just a simple worksheet. But thank you for um, listening to my little spiel here today.